We're here with Dr. Wagoda talking about celebrity plastic surgery. Hi, Dr. Wagoda. Hey, how are you? Great, thanks. Um, we're going to talk about Mickey Rourke today, and to be honest with you, Doctor, I don't even know where to start. I mean... Well, I second that feeling. Um, what happened to Mickey Rourke? What happened to him? Here I have a picture of him, and he was a good-looking guy. <laughs> I don't know how old he was here, but probably in his maybe 30-ish, 30-ish or so. Um, and here we have a more recent picture. He's in his early 50s, 52 right now. Obviously, he's had a lot of work done. And he um, doesn't look too good. Um, and I don't know everything that he's had done, but uh, clearly he's had at least one facelift. Um, his face just looks bizarre. And it's hard to even pinpoint exactly what is going on here or what was done. Um, interestingly, he's got some hypopigmentation around his mouth where the skin looks very white as compared to the rest of his face which suggests he either had a very deep peel or a deep laser treatment, um, most likely to treat wrinkles. Um, so he needs to be putting on some makeup so that skin color at least blends in with the rest of his face. Um, his lips are a little bit full, suggesting that he may have uh, some kind of filler like Restylane or Juvederm uh, put in his lips. Um, the skin quality overall just doesn't look too good, and, and that might be why he had a laser treatment, although he needs to have something done for the rest of his face. He's got a lot of sun damage. Um, but looking at the shape of his face, it's just he looks a little bit like the Joker. Um, the cheeks just don't look right. He looks like he's been pulled a little bit too tight in this area. Um, he still may have a little bit of loose uh, skin or skin laxity in the neck. He's got a fairly long forehead, and um, his hair is receding. Um, he might benefit from, from, from some hair transplantation, um, which could make him look a little bit younger. If you look at uh, the picture where he was younger, uh, you know, he definitely had more hair and not such a long forehead. Um, so that's probably the only surgical treatment, which I personally don't do it, but I think that might um, be of some benefit for him. If you look at his eyes, he's got very small, beady type of eyes. And part of that is because the forehead has dropped. He's got brow ptosis. So actually, a forehead lift might also be of some benefit for him. The only problem with that could be that it might give him a longer-looking forehead. And again, that's where a hair transplant procedure uh, might be a benefit. But overall, he looks a little bit scary. And it's um, I'd be a little bit fearful doing more surgery on him. Um, you know, he definitely needs to lay off of, of being put under the knife, at least for a while. And Dr. Wagoda, if Mickey Rourke came to you and said, help me, what's going on? What should I do? Is there, I mean, what could you recommend that would maybe help him see some improvements? Well, honestly, from these pictures, it's a little bit hard to know what I would do. I'd, I'd, I would really need to look at him in person. Um, okay. As I mentioned, um, you know, he's got definitely a lot of receding hair, um, so a hair transplant procedure um, might be helpful. He could use some Botox around the eyes um, for the crow's feet, but um, overall, I'm not really sure exactly what I would do. It's hard to reverse a bad facelift mm -hmm. um, and sometimes you just have to sort of live with it mm -hmm. um, and let the skin sort of become lax again. Maybe just take a break, Mickey Rourke. <laughs> Maybe he just needs to take a break. <laughs> okay, thank you, Dr. Magoda.